here. What, what happened? They pulled us over, man, and... C c c come off the street. C yeah, I'm by myself, yo. I, I was taping that shit. What, what happened? Yeah, they pulled them over. They pulled us over. Yeah. Then they came back saying they have a couple of summons. So you asked him, like, summons for what? Yeah. And the officer was like, uh... What the fuck? What the fuck you yelling? You yell, you yell, you yelling for? He said, "I'm asking someone so what?" Yeah. He said, "Get the fuck out of the car before I rip you." And they just pull him out and lock him up. Yeah. Well, tell the people what happened. <clears throat> tell me when you got. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm rolling right now. You got, you got when you, you got initially stopped for what, what? Like, what did they say you got stopped for? Well, it's not even properly explained. What is it we're pulled over for? They asked whose car, we told them it's a rental. They wanted to find out if we got the papers, the document. We hand in, handed um, the papers to them. After that, they um, went back to their car. We were in the car for like six, nah, five minutes or so. They came back saying that the driver had a couple of summons. He asked, well, summons for what? The officer turned to him and asked, why well, you're yelling. He said, I'm not yelling, I'm asking you summons for what? 
and the officer say I'm get the fuck out of the car before I rip you out and then he just proceeded and grab grab him and pull him out of the car then like two or three other officers came and they tried to put him on the floor and after they got him on the floor one was standing on his two feet while he was laying down and two about well, three or more was trying to hold him trying to cuff him there's one dude one officer in a black tam fist him like about four or five times hit 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 him about four or five times yeah where did he hit him like somewhere in the head the shoulder I like from the position I was in I could only see he's like firing punches but um I can't say exactly where but um from his position you, you, he was more at his head shoulder in that area so I, I, a, I seen you step out the car they what? yeah I step out of the car and one other officer came to me and said I need to go back in the car uh, so I stayed in the car, looked through the um, driver's door, the door on the driver's side, just to see what was happening. And um, then the other officers came, other officer came asking me, what's up with my boys? And there's nothing up with my boys, something's wrong with your boys. And I explained to him what happened, and he was saying why he didn't come out of the car when the officer asked him. I said the officer didn't ask him. The officer tell him to come out of the car, and in the same breath, he grabbed him and pulled him out and threw him and tried to get him on the floor. That is exactly what happened, you and, know. And, and 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 it coincides on, it coincides with what I have on tape, because yeah, I I seen, I seen I heard when the officer said what, and sim almost simultaneously, opened up the door, and snatched the driver out the door. So what you just said definitely coincides with what I have here on tape, and I'm sure you two. The world, everybody appreciates um, you taking the time to give me this statement. You know, we never met before, but, you know, this has to stop. And, um, you know, I appreciate you doing your part and um, giving giving the world that statement on exactly what happened from somebody that was in the car and could attest to exactly what, what, what went on. And it, it coincides with, with what the video shows. So, you know, that... That's crazy. I mean, I got stopped. I got stopped. Um, an officer said that I was trying to pick up a prostitute. So I told the officer, there's no prostitute in my car. Um, you, you drove right past the prostitutes and you pulled me over. Why didn't you stop the prostitutes? I didn't do anything wrong. They were blocking my car. He also tried to do the same thing that he just did to your friend. He tried to open my door. I keep my doors locked when I drive. And this is evidence this is proof why especially black people should keep their doors locked when they're driving because we don't have to worry about carjackings we have to worry about police beatings and that's just what happened